What is up, guys? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 and the Cell 313 Gaming Channel. Today, I was working hard and I unlocked the brand new Maserati 8 CTF right there. This is all that I did to unlock it. Obviously, I didn't do a couple races. Um, I'll probably do them another point because of the extra points for the SVJ. But we're going to go ahead and collect this. And we're going to go take this to a race. We're going to do a stock race first. And then we'll do a track, like, track attack style one. So we'll build like a more aggressive track style. And then after that, we will build a drag build and see if this is an overpowered car. I'm not sure if it will be, but it only weighs about a 1,000 pounds, which is crazy for a car. So we're going to go ahead and hop into a race, and I'll catch you guys back on that. All right, so now we're starting the race. Things really squirrely, all that rear power. Almost lost it. Everybody else is passing me. It's very, it's actually very quick. Um, I'm hoping the handling's good. So far, so, oh, I don't know. It, it's really squirrely, right? See, like right there, it just slides out so easily. Other than that, I mean, it takes corners well until it, it's that power band and then it just throws it out. I will let this race continue. I'm going to keep it on. I'm not going to skip it. You guys can watch the rest of this race or you can skip ahead to the end. I'll catch you guys back at the end. Coming up on the end here, 11th place is what we're going to get right there as the Rapalio or whatever. I can't remember what that car's name is. I haven't used it forever. Passes us at the end, which really kind of sucks. I was hoping we would get that kind of show off, show off there. Um, so, 
Now we're going to build the track build. Um, we're going to check out the engines. We have obviously the stock engine and a 3.5 liter V8. That sounds like a flat plane crank. That sounds like those McLarens and the new Corvette right there. That's actually really cool. I'll have to come back and do that as the drag build. Obviously, all wheel drive will be on drag build. Go check out the tires. I believe we'll have every normal tire and white walls. That's pretty cool. We're going to put semi slicks on this for the best track grip. Obviously, we're going to ride in those tires as much as we can, get more grip on there so it doesn't spin out as much. Um, I think we'll upgrade the clutch, make the shifting a little bit faster, give it a little bit more speed on that. I don't think I'll upgrade the trans. I think I'll leave that. Brakes. Obviously, we're going to upgrade that. Suspension, we're going to lower that to race brakes. More handling. You can put a roll cage on it. I wanted to see if this would add, like, an actual roll cage around the cockpit, but it wouldn't. We're going to lighten it up, which is absolutely crazy. This car's going to be stupid light. Obviously, all the parts. We're going to modify this. Obviously, stock horsepower, but 1,500 pounds right there. So, we're going to start this next race. Still squirrely, not as bad. It's definitely a little bit faster on the shifting. It's way more touchy on the corners, so you barely touch the joystick and it instantly just steers. So far, so good. Um, still a little squirrely. I can feel it trying to kick out. I'll let this race continue. As I said last race, you guys can skip forward to the end of this and I'll catch you guys back at that. All right, so we're coming up at the end right here in eighth place. Way better than before. Um, I wonder what our time will be. I can't remember what our time was originally, but we're going to get eighth place with a time of three minutes and five seconds. That's actually pretty quick for a three-lap circuit right there. I, I'd say so far, this car is definitely a good track car if you build it correctly. Obviously, I'm not the best at building these cars. But we're going to go ahead and build this drag build. So obviously we're going to put this motor in. It's going to be this V8, full horsepower, all-wheel drive. And we're going to skip ahead. I have everything done. We're just doing the suspension and about to get to motor work. 
And I'll catch you guys back when we're done doing this. All right, so we went up to 710 horsepower, and we also went a little less weight, too, which is crazy. Here we go on the drag race, taking off. Takeoff's pretty good, and this thing just gets to 100 in no time. We're slowly pulling away. 180, 190, 200, 200 on the drag strip. About 204 miles per hour is what you can reach on this. First place, 15.1 seconds. That is, this car's great, guys. This great race car, decent drag car. I think you guys should definitely work to get this car. It's really cool. Sounds really cool. But anyway, we are going to end this video off right here. I just want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button. Comment what cars you want to see me build. I will be doing a wheel spin video tomorrow. Peace out.